Hi, hello, hi everybody. Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome back to to JD Lady ASMR. Thank you so much for joining us. So, this evening I thought I want to share a little bit more of myself, a little bit more, a little bit more, and I happen to very much love perfumes. I've got a bit of a collection myself. So tonight I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of some of my favorite perfumes ever. I have a lot more than 10, but we would be here all night and tomorrow if I showed you everything. So I'm just going to show you 10, 10 of the ones I've picked out. There will be glass tapping, fast tapping. I'm going to be whispering some descriptions. I'm going to be talking about the scent families. Sorry, the fragrance families. I'm going to be talking about fragrance families and all that fun stuff. So stick around for some lovely smelling tingles. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's begin. I think how I'll categorize this is by size. I will go from smallest, the smallest bottles I have to the biggest, with the end being my all-time current favorite. I just recently got an amazing mystery perfume that will be revealed at the end. My absolute favorite scent right now. It's perfect for winter. All right, all right, let's begin. So I'm gonna start with some of the smaller ones I have. The first one being a classic. This is a travel size of Versace Bright Crystal. Versace Bright Crystal. So it's a little baby version of the classic bottle with the amazing top. Very much looks like a crystal, doesn't it? The fragrance family for this is Florals. A classic Florals. This is a very classic floral scent. The keynotes are Yuzu Lemon, Peony, and Musk. Yuzu Lemon, Peony, and Musk. Yuzu Lemon, Peony, and Musk. It's a classic floral scent. Versace Bright Crystal. Versace Bright Crystal. This is a fresh, sensual of refreshing chilled yuzu, pomegranate, magnolia, and lotus flower. Pomegranate, magnolia, and lotus flower. I absolutely love pomegranate. Moving on, moving on, we're gonna do another very classic scent. Flower bomb. Flower, flower, flower bomb. This is a very classic scent. I'm sure you've heard of it. Flower bomb. Now this is of course just the baby version. Flower Bomb, the fragrance family is warm and spicy. Jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. Jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. Very classic overall scent. It's an enchanting world of jasmine and rose perfumes. Jasmine and rose perfumes. Very enchanting indeed. We're going to take a bit of a turn here from the florals and go into Nuit Azure by Tori Birch. what the little miniature bottle looks like. The classic Dory Birch symbol at the top. So the fragrance family is floral, but there's key notes of fig, cedarwood heart, and patchouli heart that makes it rather sensual. It captures the allure of the Mediterranean after dusk. So this is more of like a nighttime scent. In regards to the other two, I think those would be more day scents. This is definitely a night scent for me. So just think of, when wearing this, a starlit swim. A starlit swim. Can you imagine swimming under the stars? Can you imagine swimming under the stars? That's what this would smell like. 
All right, and now for the last of my small scents, another classic, Joy by Dior. Have you heard of it? I'm sure you have. Another baby one, another baby version. Again, floral, with keynotes, with keynotes, keynotes of mandarin, sandalwood, and white musk. This time, a white musk and sandalwood and mandarin. It's the feeling of joy enveloped in softness and an energy. It's joy in a bottle. Another quote that I like that describes this scent is a smile of floral flowers and citrus fruits. A warm smile of flowers and citrus fruits. Absolutely amazing smell. I definitely recommend all four of these. Now we're going to do some more travel rollerball type sizes. Now I very much love this one and want to start with it because of how unique the bottle is. Can you guess who this is by? Thierry Mouglet. Thierry Mouglet, one of my favorite, favorite fragrance designers. Would you call it fragrance designer? Thierry Mouglet not only captures the essence of woman in their scents, the bottles are so unique, the scents are unique. I love how they describe their fragrances. Absolutely amazing. So this is Angel. As you can see, I've used a bit of it. <sighs> so the fragrance family for Angel is warm and spicy with keynotes of caramel, chocolate, vanilla, and honey. So caramel, chocolate, vanilla, and honey. Very, very delicious, delicious scent. One of the quotes is, dreams and fantasies come true with the celestial, delicious, and voluptuous scent of Angel. Oh, I love this smell. As all Thierry Mouglet, I definitely recommend. Now we have another classic by Tori Birch. Tori Birch also made the Nuit Azur that we talked about before, the Mediterranean After Dusk. So this is more of definitely a sweet scent, Just Like Heaven by Tori Birch. The top notes are hyacinth, rhubarb, and mandarin orange. Another reason why I probably love it so much is the rhubarb. I love rhubarb. <laughs> I love rhubarb so much. I eat strawberry rhubarb pie every day. <laughs> so if you like rhubarb, this is definitely one for you. So the top notes are hyacinth, rhubarb, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are heliotrope, ylang ylang. And the base notes are, of course, tonka bean. Whenever a fragrance has tonka bean in it, you know it's going to be good. I have loved every single fragrance that has tonka bean as a base, okay? If you see tonka bean in there, tonka bean, tonka bean, tonka bean, get it, get it, okay, get it. Because it's going to be delicious. Absolutely delicious. We have Miu Miu. I think this is a self-titled first scent that Miu Miu came out with. So, Mew Mew, the fragrance family, is fresh. A bit different than the florals we've been doing. This fragrance family from Mew Mew is fresh. The keynote is Lily of the Valley. That is my favorite flower. So it comes as no coincidence that I love this fragrance. I love Lily of the Valley. It is my favorite flower. It's very beautiful. Very underrated. Mew Mew is youthful, colorful sophisticated and unique with lily of the valley as a keynote there's also a rich brooding mystery of the patchouli extract that has been added to this fragrance to give it a bit of a kick it's a bit peppery almost how i would describe it peppery peppery our last rollerball scent. This is by Juliet Has a Gun. Oops, it's upside down. Juliet Has a Gun, and it's called Not a Perfume. Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. It's a very simple design. 
a nice sleek black cover. I just recently got, not a perfume, so the fragrance family I would call that woody and earthy, minimalist, fresh and clean. It's for the individuals who prefer discretion, discretion, discretion over complexity. It's a subtle smell, but it is very beautiful, sophisticated smell. This is for someone who has their life together. This kind of a smell, perfect for someone who is very stable. <laughs> but if you're not, maybe go for, if you're not stable, maybe we should go for the next one. One of my all-time favorites. Alien, Alien, Alien by Thierry Mugler. So this may be a little bit dirty, a little dusty, because I've had it for years. I've had it for over five years. I still have just a little bit left. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. I've had it for five years. It still smells great. It hasn't started to smell, you know, like alcohol yet. Very nice scent been my favorite for years and years and years. My signature smell. I love that it's purple. It looks like an amethyst. Sometimes I feel very alien, so I love that I have a perfume that I can relate to. <laughs> the keynotes, the keynotes now, hold on a minute, are jasmine sambac, cashmere and wood, and amber gris. So it borders the realm of spirituality and sensuality. Again, with Mugley fragrances, it, I find it very much captures femininity, the female form. Definitely, definitely check Thierry Mugley out. I love their smell so much, but this one especially, it's my absolute favorite. And now, the grand finale that you've all been waiting for. My new favorite fragrance. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Ta-da! The most beautiful looking fragrance bottle. I mean, look at that. It's a heel. It's a heel. Look at that. It is a heel. And it is absolutely amazing. It's a heel. It's a heel. It's a heel. And it's so interesting. I've never seen a fragrance as a shoe before. <laughs> so this is, of course, good girl. Good girl, good girl. This is, this is good girl. The scent, good girl. All right. I do believe it's fairly new. I've been seeing commercials about it on the TV. So I had a trial version of this, like a little travel scent, and I fell in love with it right away. I knew I had to have it. It's perfect for winter and the colder seasons. Good Girl is floral with keynotes of tuberose, jasmine, and of course, tonka bean. The most amazing star of the show, tonka bean. Absolutely fantastic. I love tonka bean. It's described as sensual, evocative, and born from the beautiful duality of the modern woman. It's both freshly light and moodily dark. That's what I love so much about it. It fits almost any mood. It smells sweet, but there's a moodiness, a depth to it that I just find so, so interesting. It provokes much thought. I love the smell. It's amazing. Woody florals are the they're in my new love. And I'm just... The scent fulfills me. Suits me perfectly. Alright, 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 alright. That about sums it up. Those are my 10 fragrances that I use right now. Maybe you can find your new signature scent. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for listening to me ramble about fragrances for 20 minutes. <laughs> I love you. I love you. And I will see you. I will see you again very soon. I hope you have a wonderful
wonderful rest of your evening. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, and, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I made an ASMR Instagram. It is JD Lady ASMR. If you'd like to follow me in there, I'd love to have you. I'd love to talk to you. Alright, 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 alright. I've got to go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.